Hey there viewers and welcome back to the Self Made Auto Channel. So I started my day out like nobody wants to start their day out. First bolt of the day I touch, she came out as a two-piecer. Second bolt of the day I touch, came out as a two-piecer. Wanted to go back home and crawl in bed, but I don't have that option. Got this. Toyota Sienna here that came in for a timing belt and water pump pretty classic you know nuts and bolts type stuff and like I say didn't start off so well but uh, why not make something good out of a bad situation the first bolt that I broke off is no big deal it was in the little plastic shield here in the uh, driver's side or passenger side uh, fender well and I could get to the back side of it so I got that bolt out and this is the adjuster bolt for the alternator to get the belt off. And it kind of made me think of something. Well, you know, I think of this is no big deal. You know, really, when it comes down to it, it's no big deal. Uh, because, you know, we've got everything we need here at the shop, including the torch. Now I can heat that up, break the rust loose, and out she comes. But it made me think, like, what do guys do at home? They don't have a torch. And I have that solution here also. We have an inductive heater that we use. I very rarely use it because I save it for certain situations uh, like gas tank straps when I've got a leaky gas tank and I need to get the gas tank out. I don't recommend doing that so don't do that because you could explode I guess but uh, that's the kind of stuff I use it for you know real tight quarters where you know I don't want this huge giant flame you know burning the car down so I use my little inductive heater. So I thought what the heck I'll show you guys what an inductive heater is and I'll show you how to use it and uh, it may be of value to some of the guys at home. Uh, they don't have a set of torches or are, you know, living in an area where they're not allowed to have a set of torches, you know, uh, or an apartment or anything like that. So let's check it out. All right, so here is my magnetic inductor, or my inductive heater. Uh, I've had this for quite a while. I bought one of these way back when they first came out. But I thought, I got that. Let's see. Um, I've had to send it in once for warranty because... Uh, well, I had a minor, minor explosion with it. But here's what it looks like. It's kind of a big giant tool. And it uh, has a bunch of different ends that go on it for different type of heating applications. And the one we're gonna use today, uh, we'll probably use this bigger one here. No, we'll use an even bigger one. We'll use one of these big honky tonks and a show you kind of how that works and how this may be helpful for you at home if you don't have a torch. So the reason mine exploded is because the insulation on these coils, well I had used it, I'd used it quite a bit you know for various jobs and the insulation had worn off and evidently when the insulation wears off they tell you to throw it away but I didn't because obviously I don't read directions and then all of a sudden one day the little wires they touched when I was pushing the magic red button and some little blue sparks we'll call them they shot out of the front made me pucker a little bit and then I said whoa and then nothing else happened after that she just quit working um, I don't think you can use these things if you got a pacemaker or uh, you probably shouldn't be wearing jewelry, anything ferrous. I really want to stick it around the camera and push the button, but we better not. You can hear it. Sounds pretty neat. Um, I'm not going to get into the science of how it works and tool disassembly and stuff like that. We're just going to use it. Uh, at any rate, so I've got my broken bolt here, and we're going to stick the uh, inductor around here, in here. We're going to push the button. It's going to turn this little guy red hot, and then we're going to spin the uh, uh, broken bolt right up and out of there. Technically. In theory. I need a little break from this job anyways. Oh. Oh yeah, reminds me, got, a, got some Christmas, we're getting Christmas cards in the mails from our viewers. We've got more, more in the office, so if you guys are sending these things a lot, they're pretty awesome. 
but you know me. Safety third, we better get our glasses on in case a little speck of rust explodes off this or the pool blows up. We'll get out some pliers. You should, dude. Okay, e high, here we go. I'm gonna bend this a little bit so I'm not all, not all jacked up over here. I'm gonna stick this on there, pushing the button. Pretty soon we'll see the smoke fly. Ooh, she's starting to get smoky. And this is a pretty good sized chunk of metal, so it's gonna take it a little bit to, to heat up. But boy, I tell you what, you're doing this over like a, oh, I don't know, like a 3 8 bolt or a 3 8 knot, something like that. You know, around that size 10 millimeter, I guess it would be. It gets hot pretty dang quick. But you can see it's obviously heating this up. Looks like it's starting to turn red right now. I can flip this light off here. It'll help us see this a little better. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it on the camera or not, but it is just starting to turn a faint bit of red. See it? enough for the purpose that we're we're doing <laughs> kind of doing this the Polish way probably should be holding the block and turning out the bowl but yeah why don't we smoke it's obviously pretty hot it's pretty neat though we didn't have to use a cutting torch full of tools and I'm here with a pair of pliers. Oh, that's a nice noise. There it is. Yeah. Okay. So that is that, that's the inductive heater. Pretty fun, it's got a lot of uses. Um, I can show you real quick on this small bolt, that the bolt that we just took out. It's what, an eight millimeter bolt. I'll put one of these small coils in here. We'll heat that little guy up. That's what you're gonna use it on mostly, is, you know, small stuff, lightweight stuff. Yeah, granted, this thing's priority a schmidge toasty, but we'll stick it in here. Looks like I got interrupted on that last bit there. Customers are always interrupting our YouTube videos. But we can see, just right now, look at that. She's red, just like that. Doesn't take long. You start doing this small stuff, boy, it gets, it gets hot real fast. And this is about the stage of red it gets to, right there. About as hot as it, about as hot as it gets. Um, let me see if we can grab a, I got a junk bolt here. That's cold. Okay, well this one here, this one's cold, so this would be a better experiment. So hang on, this, this bolt's stone cold. Start the timer. smoke. We can see 
that long it takes to get to red hot. I don't know how long, how long that was, but not very. How's that? I have no idea. There it is. So, yeah, so you can see why this would still be good, you know. Wow, everything's smoking. <coughs> uh, you can see why this would be good at home or even in the shop. Oh my kid. I love this thing. It's fun. Every time I get it out, I just start burning stuff up with it. Turn our light back on. So that's it. That's the mini inductor. Mini, mini inductor. I don't know as if they even make this one anymore, to be honest with you. I have no idea. Like I said, this is a tool I bought. I am not endorsed nor am I promoting this tool or its use. But it is a, a tool that I have that I've used. And it saved my bacon a couple times. Because as you guys know, we work on some rusty crap and you get something in and gas is leaking and, or it's in a in an area where uh, you know you don't want to go in there with a torch. This can be helpful. Uh, sometimes I have found it actually takes uh, and it takes a little more heat than what this thing can produce. I guess, and you wouldn't think that, you know, I mean, if you get a red hot, you think red hot's red hot, that's going to work. But anybody that works on rusty crap knows that sometimes you need to heat it to like the melting point. Like right before it's going to just blop off, that's perfect temperature right there. And you got to know that fine line. So, but, you know, situations like this, you know, you may, you know, if you're home without heat and you didn't have like, you know, six weeks to wait for a penetrating oil to work, you might have been screwed, but something like this runs off household current and is relatively, relatively safe until it's not. That's not too Okay, we'll stick it in here. Now, my big dilemma is the only bolts I could get to replace one that I broke. That's hard! It's more is uh you know this one is threaded all the way and this one is not so got to spin some threads down this little guy so we can finish the time of melt job on the yoda here
you got to see how we threaded the bolt all the way to the end. There's probably some machinist at home made a skin crawl. That's okay. Uh, it worked. Just lubed her up, zipped it in and out through a die, and now we got threads all the way to the end. Uh, you also have seen how the mini inductor helped us heat up this big, uh, big chunk of metal here. Uh, so we were able to get out our broken bolt. And so that's that's two for the day, two broken ones. Got them both out, and I'm sure it won't be the last time I break something off. As long as they keep shaking down that salt, which I hope they do, because it uh, pays our bills, and it's a, it's a good thing. Um, at any rate, the mini inductor, it is not a cheap item, uh, unfortunately. You know, way back when I bought my mini inductor, and I bought the old mini, mini inductor kit, um, it was a relatively inexpensive tool, but I just looked for the heck of it, and I'll put a link below as to where you can buy that, uh, you know, if you choose to do so, or if you want to do a little more research on it. Like I said, I'll put a link below to the South Main Auto Store so you can check them out there and, and uh, make a decision for yourself if it's right for you and at home, and or maybe for even you guys in the shop. Uh, like I said, I've got multiple uses where I use it, where it's, you know, semi-dangerous to use a torch. Um, at any rate, check us out on Facebook and Google Plus if you haven't yet, if you want to connect with us socially there. And just remember, viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.